let's jump right into this video i am going to be putting on a 7x7 hd lace closure unit from cure cosmo now with cure cosmo you can request for the lace to snip snip you can request to cut the lace or you can let it come as is however the wigs all come customized ready to wear and i'm going to show how easy it is to put on a wig from cure cosmo Oh, I'm all dolled up already because I'm going to do a professional headshot and we need a professional wig for match the makeup. So we are going to be wearing, this is the bag, <laughs> we're going to be wearing a Hollywood glam style wig. It is this one and this is exactly how your unit will come prepared and ready to wear smells amazing already washed already styled and i'm a large in cap size if you're not sure about your cap size there's a cap size guide that you can check your cap size to be certain now we're going to literally just put on this wig and see how it looks now the thing with cure cosmo if you receive your wig and your lace is not exactly like your complexion do not worry do not fret you can use the ebbing lace tint you can get it at any beauty supply store or i will tag the link below where you can purchase it and this is in medium dark brown and all you have to do is just spray the lace i already sprayed the lace but if you realize that it's still too light you can go in and spray it again go you know a good distance and you can judge how dark you want it the cap has an adjustable band and the cap itself is adjustable Ooh. all right want the part kind of deep okay okay and this is the lace. The lace is lacing, y'all. And I don't know if it's just me, but I'm kind of out. I've been out of the baby hair era. I am in my classy, clean hairline era. To um, cut the lace now. And as I said before, if you're not too savvy with cutting your lace, you can request to cut your lace. Miss Hollywood on curecosmo.com. I'm going to leave the link below in the description box. Your wig will come exactly like this. This is a 24 inch, but the waves are really tight right now. Of course, it's going to stretch when the hair fall, but so far, I'm just loving the look and feel of this oh, unit. Nice for scissors, and this is it's easier to use a smaller scissors no matter go stress out yourself with the big angle scissors them just just use a small scissors and get the job done so we're going to go as close as possible to the hairline and then what we're going to do is just do a zigzag pattern We can't even talk. We can't even talk. Good about. No, look at it. No, usually, usually people are for, you know, do all kind of manis for make them lace look, you know, blended and melted and all of them something. But what I'm going to say is top, a top, 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 top. Bigger heads, lace, I go on my head right now. I want to see for the self. Anyways, make a cut this side. And then that will be basically it for the install. But I'm going to show you what I use if I want a secured hole. I'm literally not going to use anything today because the lace fresh it nice. I don't want no farmer residue on it. So I'm going to put nothing on it off. So let's just cut. Mm. 
you realize I'm not really going in a straight line. The way of the lace invisible is like, it's kind of hard for me to see. <laughs> I was like, how much more do I have left? Hold on there. Okay. All right, we got that. We got that. We got that. <laughs> Why? All right, I'm going to just go in with my for my powder because I do uh, I don't want um, lace get too dark. So your best match is gonna be your powder, not your foundation, your powder. So. I'm going to go in with my powder. To get rid of that cast. If you do want your part to pop a little bit more, you can use like a little tip brush and go along the part using your powder. Not foundation, your powder. right and you're good to go this is the ebbing lace bond spray that i'll use i'll put the link below that you can use and just spray onto it you know if you use no glue no bag nothing matter of fact enough you use nothing with this already like look at this look at that you know if you use nothing with that already but if you feel like you're gonna dash out later in the night, just use a little security. But I'm going to put on my clothes, my good girl clothes, Faye. Take this photo, and I'll definitely share with you guys how the photo turned out. So here are my professional headshots using just natural light and of course edit from camera 360. I actually had a whole studio set set up but I preferred the natural lighting. Now the Remini app generated this photo as my best headshot. And if you don't know about the Remini app, it's an app that produces AI generated photos of yourself using model templates. All you have to do is select your best photos and that is why it is important to have a good headshot to start with. It will literally ask if you're a male or female. And what I've realized is that for the best results, you must use a model template that is similar to you, whether it's skin color, your hairstyle or your overall features. At first, the app does take at least 20 minutes to assess the features in the photos that you submitted. And then after that, it takes a couple of minutes to generate the new AI photos. While this app is all cool, would I use it in real life? Hell no. I don't believe it's a true representation of how I look. And while it's quick, fun and easy to get professional headshots in seconds, this is not me. But you can always play around with the models that you choose to get the best results for your AI generated photo. For me, choosing someone who had similar skin color and hair didn't give me the best results. Actually, someone of Indian descent gave me the best results. Trust me, I did several tries to get these shots. The app does have visible flaws, especially the fingers that are always distorted. But thank you, God, I'll definitely stick to my original face.